we're firing the gas kiln again. I had a few problems with the burner last time, last weekend, and uh, cleaned it out, got that problem resolved apparently because I uh, haven't had the problem this time. We're a couple hours into the firing, let's see, yeah, maybe close, close to, uh, to three. And right now the temperature, um, last time I checked, was hovering right under 900 degrees or thereabouts, which is the target. It looks like we're up over nine now. We're at about 957. So um, we're right on schedule. But in any case, you can see there's some snow that came down yesterday. And there's more predicted for today, although it's supposed to be light, so hopefully it won't present any problems with the firing. Uh, there's the damper plate sitting on top, which I'll use later in the firing when I get up probably close to, um, I don't know, around 1600 degrees or so. But in any case, we'll, uh, we'll turn this on later as the firing progresses and we'll see some flame coming out of the top. Probably when I get up over 1100 degrees or so. And we'll check back in later. Well, here we are. We're uh, still firing the kiln. Just got over 1600 degrees. So I am now starting my reduction. Here's the pyrometer. Um, what I did is I slid this broken kiln shelf, which acts as my damper, I slid it over the, uh, the opening in the lid, and as a result of several pass firings, I've been adjusting the amount that I closed this thing, and based on the results of the last firing, I decided to, to close this one at the number five, and you can see on the lid, I've actually drawn some lines, uh, increments of, uh, I think it's about, a, about an inch or a half an inch, I can't remember now. But uh, that way I could have some form of measurement that's kind of uniform from the firing to firing. So in any case, last time I did it, I believe it, uh, four, and I thought that was a little bit too light. So I decided to go a little bit heavier reduction and put it on five. A couple of firings ago, I actually had it, I think, up close to eight or nine, and I thought that was just a little bit too heavy. So we'll see how it goes. As you can see, the snow has stopped. Um, forecast calls for a little bit more later today. Not much, but snow showers, and then the wind is going to pick up as well. So hopefully, this firing will be over close to three, three thirty, before the, any of the heavy winds come in. You can see Ellie and Jesse there, enjoying the afternoon. Well, it's about 1245, and we just got to about a 2,000 degrees. And of course, the snow started coming down like crazy all of a sudden. So I've had to fool around with the top here, trying to deflect the snow from getting into the into the top of the kiln. We're in the reduction phase anyway, but as you can see, I put some uh, refractory brick on top and a, an old cookie pan and a broken shelf to keep it in place. And hopefully if it doesn't get too windy, uh, that'll work well, but the wind is picking up also, so that could be a problem. But in any case, oh, I think we're about three hours from the end of the firing, so we'll see what happens. And of course, I've got the pyrometer covered with the dry cleaner's bag, so stay tuned. Well, as you can see, the sun is out now. We've had snow squalls. The wind is now picked up, which is a little bit of a struggle. But uh, it's been quite a... What an interesting day. You can see I've gone ahead and put this um, folding table out as a makeshift wind baffle. Um, I do have to make something a little more permanent, but that seems to do the trick. We're just over 2100 degrees, so 
we're getting close. Uh, running a little bit behind schedule. Um, had some issues with, uh, with the damper earlier, and uh, I think I've got those resolved now. So hopefully in the next hour I will reach temperature, and then I'll have a one-hour soak, and uh, we should be ready to close her up. Let me see what the temperature is now. I've got the pyrometer in a plastic bag because of the, the rain or the snow and wind. It looks like we're about 21, 25 degrees. So um, another couple of hundred degrees or more and, and we'll be at temperature. I think I hear Ellie. There she is. Hey, Ellie. Well, it's just a couple of minutes before 3 o'clock, and we are running a little bit behind schedule, at least based on my target. And I think I got a couple of reasons why that's happening. But in any case, I think we're, we're going to be okay. Right now, there's the pyrometer. It looks like we're almost, well, we're just in the, I think they were just hit 2280. So. We're getting close. Uh, originally, I had hoped to be at temperature and finished with my one hour soak by now. But as you can see, we're not quite at temperature, so I'm guessing we're running about an hour and a half, maybe two hours behind. So we'll go ahead and just stick it out. The only issue right now is the wind is being really tricky. Uh, it's gusting up significantly. It even blew my wind baffle down gust was that strong but um, and it's creating a little bit of an issue with with the, the kiln um, I took all of the peep hole plugs out um, because I, I think the baffle that I've got on the inside that's close to the, uh, the opening maybe a little bit too close and it's creating a dampening effect and and I don't believe I was getting enough air in there. Uh, temperature did pretty well until I got up around 2100 and then it seemed to stall. So once I took those out, I got a little bit of a temperature spike, which was good. And, um, and so I'm going to leave them out for a while, at least until I get to temperature and then maybe I'll close them out. But anyway, the snow has stopped. Uh, the sun is out, partly cloudy. Uh, but the wind is really gusting and there's more snow predicted, so hopefully we'll get this thing done before any really bad weather comes out. Well, we're at temperature. We've been there for maybe 10 minutes or so, and I'm in the process of doing a one-hour soak, and uh, we'll see how that works out. The wind is really gusting, and uh, it's quite a challenge. I think that's creating a, a dampening effect that, um, that I hadn't anticipated. But in any case, we should have, um, have the opportunity here to, to shut this thing down probably in another 45 minutes or so. At least it's not snowing at the moment. Well, we've got some light flurries, but it does look like there's some dark clouds coming in, another front, and the winds will continue. And uh, let's see if we can uh, come down the home stretch here. Let's see the flame coming out of those two peepholes and at the top. 